Hello and welcome to another tutorial on data analysis fundamentals brought to you by Earth Creations. This is lesson 13 where we walk you through the multivariate analysis of variants called MANOVA. In the last tutorial we saw the analysis of covariants and in lesson 12 we saw the analysis of variance. Um, so MANOVA stands for multivariate analysis of variance. It is a statistical test used to determine whether there are any differences between independent groups on more than one continuous dependence variable. There are a number of assumptions that have to be made for the multivariate analysis of variance. The very first one is that the two or more dependent variables must be continuous. The independent variable should consist of two or more categorical independent groups. The observations are independent of one another. There should be an adequate sample size. There should be no univariate outliers in each group of the independent variable or any of the dependent variable. And there should be no multivariate outliers as well. There should be multivariate normality. The only way to check uh, for this in SPSS is to use the shapiro weak test. It is not the best way though. The next assumption is that there should be a linear relationship between each pair of dependent variables for each group of the independent variable. There should be homogeneity of variance covariance matrices and there should be no multicollinearity. There are two types of maneuver. We have the one-way maneuver which has one independent variable. This is the one we will be demonstrating in this tutorial. Then we have two way maneuver where there are two independent variables. So, to demonstrate, we are asking the question what is the effect of three different treatments on the systolic and diastolic blood pressure of patients who attend a particular hospital? So, we will be looking at a fictitious data set and uh, we will be demonstrating and testing all the assumptions in SPSS. Here we have our data set and we will test our assumptions stepwise. So the very first assumption is that the two or more dependent variables must be continuous. So we have the two dependent variables systolic blood pressure measured in milligrams per in millimeters of mercury the diastolic blood pressure measured in millimeters of mercury. They are both uh, continuous measured and of course SPSS larger scale for continuous data. So that's the first assumption. Second assumption is that the independent variable should consist of two or more categorical independent groups. So we have the independent variable which consists of the treatment groups. We have group 1, group 2 and group 3. And if we go to variable view, you see that we have labeled the various codes group 1, group 2 and group 3. And the groups of course are independent. There is no patient who was found in group 1 and also found in group 2 or was found in group 1 and 3 or in 2 and 3 or in 3 and 1 they are independent then the next assumption is that uh, of course the observations are independent yes there should be an adequate sample size so most statisticians say that there should be at least 20 in each group. So we see that the one we have 
20 to 20 then we go to we have right up to here we have 29 so that should be 20 as well is a potential data set you can make this two and then the last group we also have up to 20. yes so we meet that assumption the next assumption is uh, number five which says there should be no univariate outliers in each group of the independent variable for any of the dependent okay so here we just check for the mahalanobis distance so to do that we will come to analyze regression then we take linear regression and then we are going to do something funny here our treatment group which is the independent variable will rather go to the dependent list and then the independent variables will instead come to the independent then we come over to save and we check Mahalanobis. Mahalanobis. Continue. Click on OK. Then, whatever output we have here, our focus will be on the Mahalanobis distance right down here. Remember, we have three groups. So, there are some standards that we are comparing our result with. So, for the if we have three groups the maximum value should be 16.27 and at most 16.27 however we have 15.53 so our maximum value is not more than 16.27 so this one this assumption has been met good so if you have two groups the maximum value should not be uh, more than 13.3 however we have three groups so our maximum value should not be more than 16.27 here we have 15.5 so we will move over to testing the next assumption okay assumption 6 says there should be multivariate normality so we will be checking the statistical test that Come to analyze descriptive um, explore then the dependent list we have the two dependent variables in treatment group goes to the factor then we come over to statistics we check outliers continue come to plots uncheck stem and leaf check histogram normality plot with test then okay and then look at the output this shall be weak mm -hmm. yeah i think we have for the systolic blood pressure all the groups are normally distributed all our values are greater than 0 0.05 but for the diastolic blood pressure the group 2 and 3 are not quite normal and not normally distributed and if we check at look at the block the box plot we we'll see that there are some outliers so in order to deal with these outliers we might we will choose to use them as user missing values or you place them with the mean or the mode and check our lesson three on data cleaning and dealing with missing values for more in-depth knowledge on that i will leave the link to lesson three in the description section of this tutorial for you to look at it the next um assumption is that there should be a linear relationship between each pair of dependent variables for each group of the independent variable so to check for this one 
we will go to graphs come over to legacy dialogs come right down to scatter then we choose matrix we define we send all the dependent variables to the metric variable and the treatment group to the rules okay then we click on okay and we are presented with this we are actually interested in seeing a pattern that flows from bottom left to top right this one kind of follows that pattern bottom left to top right similar here then um, these two do not really follow this other one kind of follows it bottom left to top right bottom left to top right so this assumption is apparently met however we are going to continue the next assumption is that um, homogeneity of variance covariance matrix you will see this when running the manova itself so let's look at the last assumption there should be no multi collinearity in this case we are going to do bivariate we come to analyze um, correlates yes bivariate and we send the two depending variables that way and then we make sure Pearson yes Pearson is checked because we want to check the Pearson and uh, our Pearson value should be between 0 0.2 and 0 0.9 so here we have 0 0.4 which is between 0 0.2 and 0 0.9 that's perfect so we've met at least more than three quarter of the assumptions i'm going to test for the other assumption assumption for the covariance covariance variance assumption for homogeneity of variance covariance while running the ANOVA so we can move forward to ANOVA itself and to do that comes to analyze general linear model in this case go to multivariate did I say ANOVA no MANOVA MANOVA multivariate analysis of variance so our dependent variables go to the dependent then treatment group will go to the fixed factor if you are doing a man cover you may have a covariate where you send it down here however we are doing a one-way man over that's why we have just one independent variable then we move over to contrast and then we want to change this known to simple and we want to compare those groups with the very first group so we choose first here there are, group two, there are three groups we want to choose the first so we choose first and take change and we click on continue and then we just want to choose a post hoc in case there is any significance so we send all the groups to post hoc and then choosing two key why are we choosing two key choosing two key because we have equal group sizes each of our group has three has a uh, 20 uh, data entry points so all of them have equal data entry points so we're choosing two key if uh, we had on equal data entry points on equal group sizes we will choose uh, shape think so so um, we continue. Come over to options, um, options, and this this way, and we checking checking descriptive estimates of effect size and a homogeneity test. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Continue click on okay so we have the output and and do some exploration descriptive statistics take the mean standard deviation but we are really interested in the box c test for equality of covariance variance matrices 
and we want our significance value to, to be greater than 0 0.001 which we, we, we got that here 0 0.002 which is greater than 0 0.001 so we made that assumption as well so we will be moving over the many tables here but we are going to focus on the table for the multivariate test result and the, the number of tests here that we can look at however we do not meet all the assumptions remember so we are going to choose pillars trees we are going to focus on if we had made all the assumptions it would take weeks longer we have pillar strings here and the significance is 0 0.0 wow almost significant oh but it's not it's not significant oh my god so what is this telling us it's telling us that there is no statistical significance difference across the levels of the independent variable on a linear combination of the dependent variable. Yes, there is no statistical significant difference across the levels of the treatment groups, three groups on a linear relation or on a linear combination of the systolic and diastolic blood pressure. So you don't need to look at the post hoc test since there is no significance if there was significance we could check the post hoc test to see which group actually has significance so basically that is it for manover remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel see you in the next tutorial